Oh, and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, Ryan the Bearded Tycon. Ryan, as always, it's a pleasure, mate. Um, right, yeah, I mean, just going back to Reading game, we're going to be previewing the uh, Portsmouth game coming up on Tuesday. So, two quick games in succession again, uh, coming to end of the season. But, Reading game, uh, team lineup announced, Ryan. Uh, I think more or less people are happy with it, apart from. I heard a few people saying, oh, I'd heard Cosgrove instead of Cole. But apart from that, I think everybody were more or less with, with Luke O'Connell. With Luke O'Connell, uh, uh, he'd be playing too defensive again because we've got Kane and uh, Russell, two uh, yeah. similar players. You know what I mean? So I think I think we do panic a bit too much as fans hmm. and stuff like that. I mean, he's not... Listen, we know we know he's not been best manager this year, Neil Collins, uh, at, at times. He ain't daft enough to leave out Luke Connell, probably his most talented player. And not he's not benched him, he's out of the squad completely. So I think reading between lines, the vast majority of it you can see he's obviously injured. He hasn't dropped him out of the squad for a really, really important game in the final push of the season. It, just and it might be a struggle for a push with game and all, but I read after. So Yeah, he's carrying a bit of a knock, isn't he? So mm. um you see, it was just one of the things, yeah, it got gutter to lose um uh, Luca, but Injury is a part of the game, mate, and that's what it is. You just have to, you just have to get on with it. Um, you know, we we talked about on Friday. Me and Andy talked about on Friday about potentially putting Williams back to centre back and, and mm. putting the in the middle, and that's that's that, that that's that's what mm-hmm. happened. Don't want to say I'm a footballing genius, but <laughs> 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 I mean, listen, we know we know it's not perfect. We know it's not perfect having Jordan Williams at back three, but with, with what we've got available at the moment, I think he's. I think that's probably the best back three we've got mm-hmm. um, with what's available. Um, at the moment, um, which is not great, but it is what it, it is. What it is, and I thought the Gibney looked a lot better at middle. Uh, a, a, a few, a few shaky passes aside out the back, but they were all, all you know. I think Earl as well, with same and Roberts, mm-hmm. played the ball out from back, looked a bit shaky, giving the ball away back to back to Reading. Um, but you know, I thought we had it been perfect yesterday. Obviously, we're far from perfect yesterday. It was a significantly better performance than what we've seen of late. Mm. You know, I think a, a step in the right direction, shall I say, as opposed to being like, I don't want to sit there and give them loads and loads of praise and say that it were wonderful because it weren't because there were mistakes. You know, there were a few mistakes in there, certainly for, for their goals um, and chances that we probably should have put away. Um, but as far as the way we played, we got the ball on the floor. We played a lot more, played with a lot more pace. Um, a lot more attacking intent. So from from that standpoint, I think it, I think it were a lot better. So overall, it would it would a better performance. It was actually a decent game to watch. Actually, you know, it was quite mm. quite a decent game to watch. Um, but having said that, we're going to have to be a lot better on Tuesday, mate, against Portsmouth, aren't we? So yeah, we'll come on to that in a bit. Yeah, I thought you know, frailty is what we've got, and I kind of agree with it. It's like there's been slight improvements in certain areas, and certainly work to be done in others. Uh, yeah. Like you say, defensive duties. Corner, pedestrianised yet again. It was, you know, I think they had about four or five players on, on that kind of thing. We just went and bobbed it in. Yeah. Uh, and it looked like we were trained. And this is my take, and a few people around me were saying this as well in Ponte. It's like, it's as if we're defending a corner of these stationary, like, uh, dummy uh, players in the box. Hmm. And you're not expecting them to move. So you like, can't, you got to follow your man. Um, that that was a, a shock to the system. Yeah, great goal by Phillips. You know, good work again. Um, yeah, it was a really good effort, weren't it? From from Devante Cole, keep because he kept it. You know, obviously the move finished off just a little bit after that. But the fact that Devante kept the ball in, one of the only mm. decent things he did all game. But he kept the ball in. He chased it down. It looked like it was going out. And he managed to keep it in. We got the attack going. Eventually, it led to McAtee. You mm. know, a decent crossing for uh, for Phillips to knock it in. So. And he's always um, like a ghost, yeah. Phillips, and he? he always turns up in tenth at season. So, yeah, you just imagine if it had been, you know, we all knew what problems and that he had uh, beginning of the season. It's been well documented and stuff like that. But if you couldn't imagine if it had been probably starting in that form from end of last season, what is in now? Yeah. Probably it could have had a few more goal tally as well because he's always a uh, it Phillips as well. He doesn't only score screamers. He's always just like arrives in box from nowhere and just. Yeah. And that's what I love about him. He's like a ghost. I don't mean it is in it never in game. He's like, he, it he's that we don't his own, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. thinking, well, is is he? Here? And it's like that. So that would please him. I think it's uh, fair to say, Neil, that, that Adam Phillips is probably his most consistent performer at the moment. 
Yeah. He's, yeah, you know, improve, he's a yeah. player at the moment. He's, he's looking that. to he's looking to me, uh, Adam Phillips at the moment, like um like captain material for next year, me. That's mm, good shout. That's, that's that he's, he's, he's looking that way, he's really he's really matured into his role and he looks he looks solid every time, mate. He looks solid every time. Um and we know we know how well he can strike a ball as well. But I think Phillips out of all of them where we've been struggling, he he he's actually looked good. You know, he's, he's stood, he's stood, he's stood out from the stood out from the crowd mm-hmm. and late. And obviously, his his goal tally in the last few games it's, it, it it shows, doesn't it? It says, good shout that, Captain Material. Um, obviously, Russell went off injured. I thought it were a bro, a bold and brave move by Collins fetching Young Jallow on. Uh, we'll get on yeah. about second half and that, but I for some reason, as soon as that happened, I thought it was going to bring Conor Grant on. Uh, I have expected that. But I thought it were a bold move that by Collins, um, young lad, pace, and it you know it did the job. I mean, there at times what I watched him and I was watching him, he seemed to be in and out of the game, not really in it. But what I loved about it is that McAtee all the time he was going up to him having words in his ear, telling him what to do. Oh, yeah. McAtee were doing it all off the ball, and I'm thinking, do you know what? I hope he gets a goal from this because. Mcatee is like proper, proper, and I'm thinking, I love that. Me, you, a young it kid great, is, oh, yeah. mate, yeah, yeah. I saw it, I spotted it myself, mate. It was going up and whispering, telling him where to go, one ear whispering in his mm. ear, telling him what to do. And that's what, again, that experience, Ed, you know, although McAtee is not that old, um, just having that bit of experience for young lads, some you know, a reassuring voice, just 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 guiding him in the right direction because he's got, you know, he's got. Talent in abundance, and he, um, Jallo, yeah. but it's just about match experience and know how and stuff like that. That you that he's not quite got at that at that level. Um, so it was great to see McAtee doing that because a, a lot of what um Norwood did last year with younger lads, mm. a lot of what 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 Nars did last year. So, um, yeah, that was great to see that, mate. I spotted it myself. I didn't know if anyone had spotted it, but I spotted it, yeah, myself. yeah, yes. Yeah. I watched it because I'm I think he wants McAtee doing like now, and he's like, and on shoulders, pointing there, gesturing. Is you'll go there, you'll go that, you'll come round me. I'm thinking, yeah, that, that's what you want to see. You want to see, you know, learning, learning from a, a, a pro. Young kids come in, he gets, he's got his physical, we'll get on about that in a minute. But I noticed we were on about off air, O'Keefe, Jallo, a lot more pace, a lot more running with balls. They're giving it, what, umping it or lumping it. He was trying to fetch it out at times, mm. thinking, oh, if you lose it. But I'm thinking, you you kind of grasping what we need now. You need that pace. Run at him. Mm. Run, run at him. But, you know, we've got cover. Because I think at one, at one bit, or Keith went on this run, he ended up in like a uh, left inside forward roll. And I saw Williams and he dropped back over into his right wing back. And I thought, it's, it's going to rate major run here. You know what I mean? I think him, I'd rather do that than this ump it upfield for up. And give yeah. me, again, like what you said there, Ryan, that's where we're doing when we're playing at middle at centre back role. That's where we're doing. We're fetching it out. Is is like more assured and confident being in centre rather than being pushed out at further out at right to give Nina. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's, he 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 should be playing through centre now to give Nina because mm. he, he he speeds the game up. He speeds the game up when he's playing through middle. I'm not sure why he can't do that from white wing back. Whether it's whether it's tactics or not, but he's, he just seems to be get the ball moving a lot quicker out of defence. Um, Although you know, I think there were a couple of times in first half where we we were messing about with it back, and we, you know, mm. we nearly got we nearly got ourselves into bother. Um, I don't know if that were down to nerves or or, or what, but um, you know, you could see there were a, a a game plan yesterday. Whereas I've not been able to work out the game plan of late, where we're just lumping it up front. We actually got the ball down up floor, and we played. What what we're missing yesterday at times were just that final ball, mate. That that final ball. The amount of times we got into a good position and. Yeah, you know, and the thing that's been plaguing us a little bit is just not getting that ball in quick enough. You know, sometimes just overplaying it a little bit too much, or you know, not 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 getting that crossing when it should come in, or not getting a shot off when the opportunity is there. So, you know, like I said, it worked perfect, but it was certainly a, a step in the right direction for, for based based on previous performances. Um, I could actually see there were a game plan yesterday. Get the ball down. Let's let's move the ball quicker. Let's try. You know, try. Let's try and hit him. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. and, and it were it were frustrating at times, but like like I said, much 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 better. Um, 
what I did notice as well, a lot of times, especially in the first half, we're slowing it down too much. Did you notice that about we're getting into, you know, getting into good positions, but slowing yeah. it down too much? Um, but again, you know, I, I left Oakwell yesterday feeling a lot better. I weren't gutted. True. Sure. You know, yeah. I was sat there with a big, you know, grey cloud. Like walking back to my car with a big grey cloud hanging over my head. Mm. Um, like there has been a blur. You know, I felt, I felt better about it. Um, mm. Although it felt like a little bit of a missed opportunity because of the um because Lincoln lost uh, yeah, and obviously Blackpool yeah. won, we, you know, we could have pretty much secured uh playoffs, although they are looking significantly better for us now. I was just gonna say yeah, I was gonna say by the end because results have been gone as well. And and I will think yeah. about because when we got back to the car, obviously put Radio Sheffield on and you listen to stuff, results and everything going through, and I'm thinking and in the back of my head I'm talking to my son about I'm thinking all oh, right, so if we go there, ready and safe now, and blah blah blah. So you like, I'm yeah. not like thinking, oh Christ, we need to win this. But you, you're working out of it. How many points are there behind us? Well, we've got Portsmouth for people. Pick up. So I felt better in that, thinking that, you know, if other results would have gone, you know, like I said, Lincoln about it, have been, oh here we go, Jesus, we're good, yeah. you know, because Peterborough uh, they got uh, better as well, you know. So well, right, all sorts of results going off. Um, just went off in a tangent there, didn't I, about results. Yes, sir, that so yes, get sir. back to second, just came back to the second half. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I think it would have game for neutral. I think if a neutral were watching this kind of game, they'd have probably been impressed with it because it we said both sides at times were going for it, you know. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't as if Red in the camp took, we all knew that they needed points to stay in League One. Um, fair, good following as well by Reading fans, yeah, you know, the med, yeah. you know, good following. Um, and again. Their second goal, what a scorch a crack of that one, mate. I mean, yeah, it'd still be going now if I need to back it net, mate. Oh. Is it that, that hard? I'm not, I'm not sure what happened with uh, Roberts because he it was straight down the middle, but it, 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 it was so much force. I don't know if somewhere in his eyes because he seemed to dive to the left of it, yeah, After yeah, that, to his right of it. So it'd have been to his right of it, wouldn't it? So he seemed to do it, it with my left, so it, it seemed to divide, dive to a little bit to right of it. And he went up into the roof at net, but I think it was just pace that beat him. Mate. I think was it was scream sheer, of that one, sheer, 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 yeah. sheer pace. Um, yeah, sheer but I can't say much about Roberts because I thought, it, especially in the first half, it, it was magnificent. Them he saved made, some, yeah. Saves, mate. That that you know, he made two one on one saves with his feet where he's come out and stretched his foot and made a good yeah. save, and then and then that one from Edward at full stretch where you know, Robert Roberts at his best, wasn't it? Really, yeah, so. yeah. He saved his yeah, and then you know, when they squid more or less. Moments later, Jallo, you know, gets his first for club. Um, yeah. And again, you got to be not but pleased for lad. It, it was lucky that he hit post as well. And I think he could have won it. You know what I mean? It's like it, that, that, that will probably, I mean, oh. the great, the great, great goal, but you know, the fact that he brought, he brought Cotter on, um, did, did Collins, he brought Cotter on. Cotter's gone straight down wing, straight from kickoff. Got the won the throw in corner, puck throw in, and he's he's knocked it in. So we're straight back in it. So that that mm. was really pleased. That was really pleasing to see. Um, I think there were a few ums and ahs when he when he brought Cotter on, but proved right because it's the throwing in it. And it's the throwing yeah. he's got, and it's he's different to the giving his long throw. The giving his long throw is a bit loopy, whereas this is more direct and flat. It's more it, yeah. it's flat and it's faster. It, it is more like a corner, isn't it? It's more like a corner, and. Um, He's, he's 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 nodded it in, but that that turn, the way he turned that kid, and then he smashed it against Paul. That were that that yeah. was, that was brilliant. That that were really I was really impressed with that. Yeah, um, he's a superstar at future that lad, mate, and he looks to have packed some size on as well, doesn't he? Yeah, I know. So he's uh, uh, been working on his on his. Yeah, uh, it looks, no, he's still, obviously he's not he's never going to be able to do anything with his height. His height will be his height unless he has a bit of a growth spurt. <laughs> um, his height is kind of his height, but that could that can work <laughs> for him. Low center of gravity, but he's he's. He's not. He's not slight, is it? It's tricky, you know, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's tricky. Built like a tank, and he's and he's fast. So, I, I think he's going to. I think next season we're going to see Jello feature a lot more, mate. And I think personally, but <laughs> great to see him get his goal. Um, and like I say, we're really unlucky not to smash it in for that third one for for a third one, wasn't he? Mm. Trick. It's 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 going to be a tricky balancing act. This not to burn kid out and not high expectations on him, but. For sure, is, is going to be a talent. There's a talent in there, and it's. I think it's how the the coaching staff and the probably players around him, like you said, Mackey and about helping him, advising him, just so he don't. You know, it, it can only progress and not like stagnate. Uh, we've seen it with other players. People like saying him, you know, 
to uh, Ruben Noble Ladders when he was at club, and it, mm-hmm. unfortunately it didn't work out for him. And he went, you know, he went down leagues. But then some people said, well, look at Rooney, we're on 18 and blah, blah, blah. But then you've also got to think of a setup with players around him to help encourage that and nurture that kind of player as well. And I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, we have got a way of knowing a kind of type player on his hands here where, you know, with Jello. Uh, but again, it's how, how you nurture him. And I'm hoping that, you know, the staff, like I say, and the players around him can all help him participate in that and make him a even yeah. better player than what he is. And wow, what a statement that would be. Yeah, he's, he's 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 a talent. You can see it, mate, in him. I, I was watching it. I was watching it. You know, when they warm up, and they're taking shots. Yeah, he strikes the ball differently. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He strikes sure. it so he strikes it so true and accurate, yeah. and with so much pace, he's just he just strikes the ball. You can just see it sometimes in players, can't you? Where they just they just hit it that it's bit different. different. Yeah, yeah. something different. Yeah, um, oh, for sure, and, mate. And, yeah. and he's and he's young, mate, and he's full of you know. It's that it's that no fear factor in it, that no fear factor. Um, so as much as we've said, you know, we've been saying in videos that he might he might not be ready, he might he might not be fully ready. We don't want to push him on too early, but I think with the, the, the way that if this confidence is like it. Yeah. And, and and the form and, and Cole's form at the minute, could he start for us? You know, he played most of the game yesterday. And he looked absolutely fine to me. So is it is it time for him to maybe potentially start? Well, moving on from that, then, um, it kind of leads in onto the Portsmouth game right now. So at Portsmouth game coming up, we, we kind of know Portsmouth, uh, I think we all need a point and the secure promotion, fair play to Portsmouth have not been there for now. Would you be starting? I mean, I'm well, going to on about this because it looks like that Luke Connell's maybe is a doubt uh, for the Portsmouth game. I can't see Russell playing because he's like a, a pull. I'm stringing it. Yeah, it's his hammy, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Would you would you be going with what apart from like Cotter at left wing back and blah blah blah? But the final third at substitutes, would you be going line up? Would you be going as that, i.e. McAtee and all that kind of formation? Or would you be thinking now, do you know what? I'm gonna go with you know we looked well, I, I'd say once one I'm not saying that Russell had a bad game, but once Russell went off, mate, we looked a lot better. We well, looked a lot more freer. Down. Yeah, we looked a lot free. It looked a lot freer. We looked a lot more. I have a lot more pace. Herbie came with a bit deep for me yesterday. I thought it was a bit mm. deep, but it, obviously, I think it, it looked more like he'd put, he'd shifted uh, Herbie Kane and and Phillips into that back row to about the yeah. one that it, 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 that put them two there and pushed um, pushed McAtee up on onto tip at three mm. behind behind front two, uh, and I thought that worked really nice. If I if I'm being honest, I thought that worked really that really well. Um, so I'd probably go with that, mate, if I'm being honest, if it were me. Mm. Um, whether it will or not, I'm not sure. Um, and then, it, it, you know, as far as the front two goes, does it go, does it go, do we put Cosgrove in or do we leave, or do we leave Cole in? It's, it's one or the other, really, because neither of them are firing, are they? So, um, no. Yeah, you know, I that, mean, Cole that, tried that to flick, didn't he? Yesterday, yeah. yeah, that miss from Cole yesterday were... Mm. I'm going to stay behind him. You, kind of, be, you do the flicks behind your legs when it's 3-0. Yeah, when, you, when you're desperate for a goal and you need a win, you put your foot through it. You put straight it straight behind Cole Cadden. He could have yeah. slotted it there, couldn't he? So, uh... yeah, and it's one of them. He's tried to flick it behind his legs, mm. and it's just gone really tamely straight into the keeper's arms. And he had all the goal gaping as well. All mm. he had to do was get a good connection there, and he's in. So that would have been, you know, just strike it out of form, innit? That's what it is. It is unfortunately, and this time of season, yeah, yeah. we really need him out of form. We need to be fighting. Good job, that, you know. Uh, Adam Phillips is popping up with goals in the last few weeks as well. Certainly is, man. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, that could have been another area we'd be having to look at uh, attacking threat. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, post-off game for me, if you come away with a point, if someone said, we can come away with a point, I'd take back now. Oh, yeah, uh, so. A long journey. That would be a good point for us, that, mate. It, w- it would be a good point as well. Because, I mean, if you look at, if you look at the league table as it is now, um, Blackpool are only five points behind us. Yeah, but um, they've they've only got two games left, so we'd literally have to lose all three games, and they'd, they'd have to win both of theirs. Mm. Um, so I think a point, um, a point at, at Portsmouth would pretty much put them out of it because it'd be six and six. We'd only need one more point after that from from yeah. following two games. Um, so I think. Um, yeah, but I mean, I'd, I'd snatch your hand off for a draw now, mate. Um, 
But, you know, strange things have happened in football, haven't they? You know, when you expect people to go out and the form that we've been on of late and, <laughs> and, and the way that Portsmouth are, you know, playing, it's, you just think they should be winning, shouldn't they? And again, they can get promoted. They, they can get promoted. They can actually be champions on on Tuesday night. Mm. Mm. Will that play into Will that play into the mind when they're sat there trying to get over the line? Sometimes teams can. That's it, isn't it? Pressure. Yeah. Just get over the line because they're so anxious to get over the line. Can they actually get over it? And mm. I think if we turn up, we can maybe come away with with with, with a with a, with a result. Um, stranger things have happened, mate. It's not like it's it's not like Portsmouth play at bottom of the league. No, but you know we we need to play like we did. We need to build on what we did yesterday and play and play yeah. like that uh, and, and 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 go for it because it's. I don't want to say it's a freebie, but it is a little bit. You know, it is a little bit like a freebie, as in the fact that it's it's his game in hand, and we've still got the points on the board. Um, mm. It'll make, I mean, it met the the Blackpool game a little bit more um, uh, nerve wracking, if you like. But I, I think the only way we can get anything out of Portsmouth is to go at them, just sitting back and and, and trying to and, and, yeah. and, and trying to play for a draw, or even. Um, you know, playing that side, that side, we're trying to be more comfortable, playing a more possession game. This, mm-hmm. It's not going to work. We need, we need, to, no. we need to go at them, mate. We need to go at them. Yeah, and, and, and you know, and, and see, see, see how, see how the land, see how the land lies. Yeah, I agree. I don't think you can go down there and try and play for a draw or sit back and too deep. And I think we need to implement this game. Um, I'm just looking at the table like now. What you just said, Stephen and Gerard in it for me. Sixty-seven there on Lincoln on sixty-eight, uh, Blackpool on seventy. Uh, and then you've got Oxford on 73 and 6 spot. So, again, I think uh, Evans more or less called it out. Stephen just said their, their playoff spots are open uh, or, or other. Uh, bit of a shame, but some people say are good for them. But, you know, fair play to Stevenage. They've, they've been there or thereabouts in top six. And unfortunately, they've, you know, we just fell out at wayside. So, football, uh, football in a nutshell. They're going to have a great victory against one of one of the, pro, you know, the playoff rivals uh, with Dean 2 on. And then they go and get beat by Burton, who, who, yeah. who haven't been able to buy a winner recently. It's just EFL it's football. Looks, it? <laughs> Lincoln City, I mean, they've, I think they're really clutching at straws. They're on 40. They played 43. They're on 68 points. So, you know, they lost yesterday. Uh, yeah. Maybe if the winning results go their way, they could possibly nick onto six spot from Oxford on 73 points. But again, Oxford are playing tough. well, mate. <laughs> Tough, Oxford tough, are playing tough well, goal. so it's not like you know they could pretend you know Oxford are probably the most likely to catch because we're seven points in front of them with three games left, so it's unlikely yeah. that they're gonna, they'd have to win all three and we'd have to lose all three. I think Blackpool are probably looking yeah. at Oxford result, aren't they? Blackpool on yeah. 70, 70. Oxford, Oxford are flying, mate. So they you know, have won the last three. three uh, sorry, yeah, they've won the last three. Uh, drawn oh. before that and won before that, so five last game unbeaten. Yeah. The last three have been 4 0, 4 0, and 5 0, mate. Mm. Mm. No, it, 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 four five nil. So, that even if they end up with Peterborough in, in, in semi finals, that's got to be a bit of a psychological um, um, advantage mm. to them because they've absolutely mm. tonked them 5 0 yesterday. So, the hopes are peaking at right minute. So, it's, it's going to be difficult for Chasing Park. It, I think Lincoln, I think they've probably left too much to do now. I think, they, you know, it, it's unlikely that they're going to be able to catch us. Mm. Um, but stranger things have happened, but you know, seven points with three games, we'd have to have a complete collapse. Um, which they'd is not going to happen, they'd, they'd, they'd have to win all three. But I think, you know, fair play to Lincoln. If, if they'd got off to a yeah. good start, they'd have definitely been in contention. I think definitely. if you look at the run they've been on with so many wins and scoring goals for fun, and then just it's... one loss has, has scuppered them. So it shows you, you know, if they'd have been stronger earlier on in the season, they'd, they'd, they'd have probably been up there. So they it's might the team out. It's a team I'll be looking on next season, but yeah, so might have a slight bet on that. Yeah. Watch out for Lincoln next year, yeah, exactly. If they can yeah, keep, can keep the squad together and keep the gaff there, you know, it's it's that's true. Yeah, that's true. See, 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 see what happens next year with them. Yeah, uh, we'll get on about score prediction, then we'll get on about the playoffs, as in the positions. All you know, we 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 would you rather uh, land and fall in in position about? Is it a time for to play for a position in playoffs? But we'll get on about that in a minute. Yeah. Uh, so again, Portsmouth, um, school prediction. I'd 
I take a one one me um, all day long now. I'm going to say that, but I'll say two two just for this because I think just just two, to make two. it a bit more exciting. But I think I'll take that a draw. <laughs> yeah, I think, I'm, draw. I'm not I'm not going to be so brazen to say that we're going to go there and win. But football's a funny. A funny you never game. know. That was the <laughs> results <laughs> yesterday. You know, we Oxford beating Peterborough five 0 and Did Stephen is like we just touched on there. Stephen is going and getting beat at home by Burton Albion. It's it's. When it gets to end of season, and and to be fair, Neil Collins did touch on this on his, his press conference before um, before Reading game. It's it's when it gets. To, it says all games are important. It's but it's when it gets to this point in the season when every point matters, yeah. the anxiety and nervousness and creeps in. So and and strange and strange things happen. You know, unlike Portsmouth are going to be going out there thinking we just need a point, and that mm. can be that can be difficult, can't it? That can be yeah. difficult, and, and based on the. What I've read on 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 socials yesterday, Bolton was significantly the better team yesterday. Mm. Um, although it has ended up a one-all draw, so let's see what happens. I'm going to say let's. I'm going to go for Barnsley to get a point. Um, yeah, same. and I think a, a point there pretty much secures has done it. It pretty much secures. Um, yeah. Um, as playoff place there. Yeah, I'll be more than in, uh, when we go to Blackpool. We can enjoy enjoy things at seaside for a bit. So yeah. <laughs> knowing that we're so, uh, in playoffs, which is coming on to playoffs like now. Uh, again, we, in, you know, in hindsight, we've just been on about a bit of points. And before people are saying, "Oh, yeah, we're not guaranteed playoffs," but we've mm-hmm. kind of more or less put you know reasons why behind stuff and about with points. You mentioned it. You know, Oxford potentially could be playing Peterborough. Would you be? Happy finishing fifth, or would you think no six and we we'll play these? For me, it don't really matter because at the end of the day, you've got to play them. As, as, as long as long as we're in it, your league position. You, I think you can. I was on about it yesterday with my son. You, you can overanalyze, you know, who, who finishes where and what that means with regards to how many people have won the playoffs and what and what position have they won. won it semi finals, semi final, in it. I, yeah. think, I think it it it, it, it don't matter. It's who's, who's, who can hold the ball, and yeah. you know we're going to be playing. Most likely Peterborough or Bolton, aren't we? It's going to be one or two, depending on whether yeah. we finish fifth or sixth. And that's, yeah. and you know, either way, we've had, you know, we've had two <laughs> decent performances against Bolton this year. We've, you know, we're not Bolton out of semis last year. Um, so, you know, we haven't lost many against Bolton in the last two seasons. In fact, we've lost one game against Bolton in the last two seasons. Um, so, and then Peterborough, we've had good performances. Over the last couple of seasons, you know, this season we had a not so great one at home, but then we had a really good one away. But it still finished two, it still finished two two. So it's 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 one of them, mate, isn't it? It's it's like as long as we finish in playoffs, that's that's mm. fine. And then it's and then it's you know you're gonna have to play two of the two, two of the three sides that are against you if you want to win. So it's it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I kind of agree. I yeah. kind of agree because at the end of the day, you didn't play off. It's a semi final and. Your league position and everything like that seems to go out the window. We've seen it in passing playoffs where someone's finished third and team must finish sixth. And then I mean, six or fifth have ended up uh, being promoted. So again, it's like 2016. Yeah, yeah. And it's like Walsall missed out on promotion on the last day of the season. Yeah, he ended up fin- you know ended up. I can't remember who went up in second that season, but whether they, they missed out to they missed out on last day and yeah. landing in third, and that psychological blow did them. And we. Um, and we 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 sneaked in, snuck into six on last game of season, yeah. beating Wigan away, wasn't it? Yeah. Beat Wigan away that we we're, were already champions, and then that we took that momentum into into it, and, and obviously sm- we absolutely smashed the playoffs that year, didn't we? We smashed it. Barmy football, isn't it? How it can work, isn't it? It is, mate. And I, I, what what I keep thinking is, you know, we we haven't, you know, as form's been shocking of late, and it really. Apart, yeah. I know it were a bit better. It were a bit better yesterday, um, but it's been shocking of late. But last season, Wednesday stuttered. Didn't they towards back end of the season? Yeah. After they yeah. got beat by us, they went yeah. on a really sort of very indif- throw you off a bit. Yeah. Very indifferent run. And even got bought for, even got bought for, beat 4 0 in first leg. Mm. Still managed to come through. So that you know the playoffs are a funny old thing, mate, and it's literally a lottery, isn't it? It's yeah. literally a lottery. Who can hold the bottle? Um, we just need to Good for good for neutral, but for fans at respective clubs, it's a bit of a oh god, here we go again, isn't it? It's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think a couple more points, mate, and we're uh, and we're done. A couple more yeah. points, and, and, and we're there. Um, yeah, because yeah. even even if even if you know, even if Blackpool do catch us, um, 
Oh, no, sorry, they can't, there's, there's two teams in there coming after us, so that that fourth, fifth and sixth place are still up. It's not like we're holding on to just sixth, is it? No, no. There's fifth and sixth place, so that are up for grabs. So there's two places up for grabs, and maybe potentially fourth if we, if you never you never know you never know what happens um, if, after Peterborough getting beat five 0 You don't know how much of a psychological blow that's going to be for them. So very true. Yeah, if, so, you know we're only two points at minute behind them. I know we've got like. We've only played 42, so we've got a game in hand as well over us. Uh, but again, like I said, game beat yeah, by that man. They've got 42 games, knocking. mate. They've got four games to play in the next two weeks because the last game is in two weeks' time. Mm. So they've got the pressure. four games to play in two weeks. To, in two weeks. So it's, you know, it's happen. not for in two weeks again, isn't it? So it is, mate. It is, mate. Like I said, hope oh, can happen. Uh, weeks ago, like now. Nah. Uh, let's just hope we can take this uh, momentum onto the Portsmouth game. Especially the performance, slight improvements need to show up on set pieces, especially uh, from corner defending and stuff like that. Follow your man, track your man, don't allow him space. Close down a lot better uh, for a second goal, but I'm not taking out away from Reading for because that was a cracker, it was a screamer. Yeah, well, um, yeah. But again, it, it, it's a draw, uh, slight improvements to be made. At least we've stopped the the loss, the losses uh, going to the Portsmouth game. In Blackpool in Northampton, so oh dear, what it's like to be a Barnsley fan. Uh, <laughs> Ryan the Beard Attack has always made it's been a pleasure. Uh, yeah, let's know your thoughts in comments below uh, about the team lineup against Portsmouth. Should we start Jallo? And probably the internet's going to go wild about this. Like, should we be starting Jallo? Uh, and that just your, just your, just your take on it. What what are you expecting at Portsmouth? Would you be happy with a, a point? Are you feeling a bit more positive than right now about playoffs after we, we drew against Reading? Again, a lot of twists and turns probably to be had before the end of the season. Oxford run and run. Blackpool uh, points off fair fighting. So oh, it's going to be an interesting few weeks like for a football fan, but that's what we do. That's what we love. Uh, thanks for joining and watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Uh, one thing I have to say, you Reds. <laughs>